All right, boys and girls, a wired doorbell location, not actually installing the doorbell itself, but just giving the wire and all the good stuff there, just getting power to this location because all I had was a, a wireless and no pre-wire in this house whatsoever. It was all cut out, so isn't that great? Almost a brand new house. So, it took me about a half an hour, 45 minutes to get this out. Obviously, I need to make sure I get it out without breaking it. And uh, I already told them that, you know, it's not going to look as good going back in because it's not finished. you got to do recock it and everything. So, I am not I'm not contracted to do that. I'm just here to uh, run my two wires and get it to uh, power. That's basically it. So, the big, biggest thing about this is finding the location in the basement, the actual location. I'll run, run you through the tools to do that and show you exactly how to um, run this doorbell location. Pretty simple. All right, drilled my hole right there. This is like a 10 gauge solid copper, just ground wire. I'm using it as a fish rod, so I don't need, uh, I don't need very thick. This is only 18.2 as far as gauge wise. So I'll show you downstairs and how we pull this through. All right, so now we're in the basement here. I originally thought the door was right here where this little outline is for the, um, for the closet, but using my magnet spot, you've I found out that the doors are actually right here and my hole is gonna be coming over here. So niche tools, you can see this right here. I'll link the, my uh, review of this tool in the description, but this is fantastic. A little uh, electromagnet and it lets you find, uh, it lets you find little spots where you need to. So basically turn this on and you can put it above and then you, for here, I can just kind of follow it and it'll buzz and beep at me and it'll tell me exactly when I'm right on top of it, which means you still have to go another inch or two to get past the uh, tool and the drywall, but it worked. Saved me probably a half an hour, even maybe even canceling this job because me thinking that the door was inside here or I can't get to it. So, fantastic. So now the green wire, my green fish rinds right here. Sorry, I don't have... Uh, much much light right here, but I mean, all I'm doing is tying tape in my 18-2, yank it up, and then from here I'll run it to my uh, my uh, power location. Just fish it in. Just like that. Beautiful. All right, so we got the wire ran up. Doorbell should be between 40 and 44 inches from the floor. So drill my little hole right there. About a um, quarter inch, maybe uh, 930 seconds, nothing nothing crazy. And then you're basically just gonna reposition this and then probably 15 gauge nails, take care of it, no problem. Let's see this. <clears throat> All right, so got some light up here. You can see where we came in. And right down there is my power supply, GFCI. And that's where we're bringing it. Let's see if I guys. There we go. So the first one. Not that's not the first one. I'm gonna probably pull one after that. But we're gonna hammer. So you guys get the gist. So we're gonna go all the way over to about right there, and that's where we're gonna run the 12-2 to. All right, guys, here's your transformer. Obviously, hot neutral ground goes to your uh, 120 or 110, whatever you want to. And then these are your bells. That's pretty much it. I always um, put them, you know, attach them, and then go straight up, and just uh, one, maybe one nail just to keep it in there. And that's it. Let's get it done. All right, guys, this is a wrap here. Uh, it took a little longer than expected because he changed his mind as where he wants his ringer. It was going to be over here, but he changed his mind to be on the same wall. And it just happened to be where a fire break was. So that yeah, was fun fishing that one. But we're done. Maybe a little behind schedule, but all set. All, the all right, so this is where the bell location's at. I'm going to point up there, that little uh, tape spot. There's the fire break area right there. That's what took me an extra probably 20 minutes to get through it to go all the way to the basement with the uh, fish itself. So no additional holes. It's all good there. I'm showing you guys the outside, what it looks like. Got the trim piece back on, obviously, bell location um, right there. Just tied up the uh, wire, um, caught the uh, silicone little hole right there. That's it. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, this job 
took a little longer than expected, but still got it done in a half a day. So in this job, I'll tell you, I uh, charge them $4.25 for everything. That's including materials. I've got $30 in materials. So, you know, three, three ninety-five. dollars So we're way up there, probably 90, 80%, 90% uh, gross profit. So perfect, great. This is the kind of jobs I like. Pretty straightforward. I did get another job with this guy, another one, uh, moving the garage door button, the one in the interior one, to the opposite opposite side of the door for my minimum of $199. I'll do that again probably here in a couple days. But um, yeah, that's. Uh, I wish I could knock it out today, but I had some running out of time. Got other things to do today, so another day. A couple things I learned from this is uh, that fire break for the uh, bell location really kicked my butt, like most fire breaks do that you don't expect. So, and I didn't want to, you know, obviously cut around it because that's just not really, you know, you don't want to do that. So, <laughs> it's just more work. So, I got through it, uh, flex bit, just drilled right through it and got it down to the basement without doing any additional holes or anything like that. So, that, that was good. Um, just took a little longer. Uh, that's about it. Um, you know, much else really to um, learn from this job. A little further away than I wanted to, but a nice drive. You know, what, what, what are you going to do? So... Uh, that's about it for this video, I think. If you guys like the video, I earned your subscription. Please subscribe, like it, ring the bell, all that good stuff. I uh, got much more, uh, a bunch more videos coming out, but I uh, hope you like it. And uh, have a great rest of your day, evening, week, whatever it is.